How many times do you have sat in front of books and hardly moved pages? Do you feel that the time is stuck and hardly progressing? Do you secretly wish that you had more time for study? Or even if that time is little, you could do more in that time available? Today, I'm going to give you six hacks which will change your life forever. And you will study what you are doing right now in 10 hours in just five hours. So we will boost up your efficiency. So watch this video till the end. The first one is a silent killer. Imagine yourself watching a reel or a YouTube short. At first, it might look very harmless because it's just a minute or so. And you tell yourself or fool yourself saying that I'm just going to watch some two or three reels or shorts. But you know very well that's not true. You end up watching 20 to 30 reels Imagine that's 20 to 30 minutes wasted from your precious time which could otherwise have been utilized for studies. This can also happen with other social media accounts or messaging apps or movies or series. One is never enough. You always feel like watching more. You are never satisfied and you waste a lot of time. Remember, one day is 24 hours. You cannot get more time in one day. But if you save the time, that is like earning that hour or that time which you would have lost. So the best approach for these silent killers is to turn on your do not disturb mode or to delete the apps if unnecessary. If it is not adding value, then there is no point for you to keep that app on your phone or on your computer because there will be a time for it where the exams are over and then maybe you can chill out and watch some reels or shots. But maybe now is the time where you limit your social media usage and restrict yourself from consuming content which is very addictive. The second one is Pomodoro technique. Very very effective. Imagine I ask you to complete a chapter, all the notes, the theory, the formulas, PYQs, everything. You might procrastinate and say that okay I can do it tomorrow or over the weekend. But you never know what's going to happen next. Maybe some sudden function is there or maybe there is a surprise test which you have to prepare for or maybe there is some homework and then you find yourself with no time to complete what you had planned for. You always try to think that I can do this within this time but you don't know how much exactly you will take for completing that chapter. Maybe the theory is difficult, maybe there are more problems in it, maybe the problems are harder than you anticipated. So what you do is when you have a big task at hand, divide it into small, small tasks. Each task should take 20 to 25 minutes to complete. Maybe it could be a set of 5 to 10 problems or reading two paragraphs or maybe writing notes from, you know, the first two pointers or the two concepts, something like that. And after the completion of that small subtask, after 20 to 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. Okay, refresh yourself and again come back and complete the next task for the next 20-25 minutes. Keep doing this. Once a decent amount of the task is done, you have done a sizable chunk of the chapter or the task at hand, then take a 15 to 20 minutes break and then again get back to studies with the same approach. This way, your brain knows how much and what you need to do in the next few minutes you are not overestimating or underestimating and without any procrastination, you will make sure that you are effectively using your time. The third one is the Sunday night hack. Imagine you just sat down for studies. It happens with most of you that you don't know what exactly should I study. Once you are into a chapter, you suddenly feel, oh my, that concept, that chapter is still remaining. Oh, let me complete that. Oh my God, that homework is still pending. Let me complete that. Or sometimes you just waste lot of time deciding which book should I prepare now or should I complete this exercise or should I read that theory first. So deciding takes a lot of time and if there is very little time left after all the decision, suddenly the dinner is cooked, you're like okay let me do this after the dinner. So that's it, you have wasted a lot of time. Instead what you do is on the Sunday night, because your week is going to start from Monday, plan the entire week in detail which books you're going to solve, how many problems you're going to solve, which chapters need to be completed, what are the backlogs that need to be done, this much time will be needed for homework, this much time will be needed for the coaching, this much time will be needed for the you know school, these are the holidays that are coming up, so in this holiday I'm going to do these, 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 these things. 
in detail with timings with exact things that you're going to do that's it as soon as the time comes you know exactly what has to be done you're not wasting time deciding for what needs to be done your productivity will increase multifold and once next sunday comes again sit for the planning for the next week so this sunday night hack is going to change the way you study the next hack to save your time and improve your productivity is using active learning methods and aids imagine studying from flashcards all reagents all the important reactions or using mind maps to study multiple chapters at once or studying through charts tables graphs diagrams which saves you a lot and lot of time and avoids reading all the text in your textbook also imagine doing the summary problems and not focusing on out of syllabus things because there are many things which will take you and deviate you out of syllabus which is of no use for your upcoming examination yes out of curiosity you might learn it but you should know where you should draw the line not just that even toppers you know what they do they teach a concept to others not just with the intention of helping the student but the added advantage is that that concept will register in your head when you teach it to others that way you don't waste your time revising again and again and when you teach others obviously you are revising then and there itself use these active learning methods and you will see the difference the next technique is to fool yourself by rewarding this works like magic and does wonders imagine you want to complete a task but you do not have that self motivation or nothing is driving you to complete the task and you're wasting your time just staring at the book so you can fool yourself and tell your brain that listen i am not going to sit for dinner unless and until i complete this in fact you can tell your brother or sister or maybe your your parents that listen i have made up my mind unless and until i complete this particular homework or this assignment i am not going to sit for dinner so now you know at the back of the mind somebody else also knows somebody is watching over you and you have to complete the task because you have given your word so that way you will be motivated even if there was no initial motivation reward yourself with smallest of the smallest things it could be as simple as you know i won't check the messages until i finish this particular you know problems so this will act like a boost will be like a driving force for you to complete the task that way you do not waste your time and again boost up your productivity the last one is energize the avenger way has it ever happened to you that you are trying to prepare a chapter because maybe you bunk the school or maybe the coaching and you're trying to learn everything on your own you're taking a lot of time because you're referring so many books you don't know which problems to solve how to solve what is the correct flow of learning what is this difficult concept and then your friend comes and helps you or you watch a youtube video and you learn from your favorite teacher it becomes so fast right why does this happen because the person who is teaching you or guiding you has done that same process before they know what has to be done what not has to be done they know the exact flow when you watch somebody solve problems you get the idea of how to approach things when the correct mentor the guide is explaining you the concept with proper examples with proper application that concept registers in your head you don't have to refer any book after that because the notes only are sufficient and that's exactly what i do the entire avengers team does so we have the energize batch for all the competitive examinations where the entire avenger team teaches to the point without hitting around the bush in one blow only the concept gets embedded in your head you don't have to waste time studying from multiple things and you can spend quality time practicing more and more problems or making your notes so check out the link for joining the energize batch which is there in the description box use the coupon code avenger to avail maximum discount as well and learn from the best team in the country in english so that you get quality time for your self study and save the time that you would have wasted in understanding how to do things or how to solve problems so my dear warriors i'm pretty sure you're all motivated and fired up to now apply all these 
ninja techniques in your day to day routine so that you save a lot of time and you will slowly see the difference where you are able to achieve more and with minimal input so looking forward for all of you to apply these techniques and let me know in the comments how these things have worked and how fired up and charged up you are thank you very much this was captain shreya signing off asalavista an academy let's crack it